Last time, I created a person object to hold all the data that came from the form, right? To sort of represent that person. I want to do the same with my flicks. So down here in handle submit, I've got my form. Now let's make a variable to hold all the flick data. Const flick, it's an object. It's got a name, f dot flick name dot value, right? There'll probably be more about a flick at some point. In fact, what if we gave each one a unique ID, like a number? Like the first one I add in the form is going to be flick one. The next one's going to be two. You dig? So we're going to have to keep track of that, that counter. We can't make that a local variable inside of handle submit because each time it's called, that's going to get reset, right? So we could make that counter a property of the object, like max colon zero, like that. Why not? Or inside a knit, we could say this dot max equals zero. Same thing, right? It's just another property. So start that at zero, and then the ID here is going to be this dot max plus one. We'll make sure we increment it before we move on. So at the bottom here, let's just say this dot max plus plus or plus plus this dot max if you like. Okay, so the this dot max plus one, what is that doing? Is that so this dot max is zero, right? Yes. This dot max plus one yes. is one. That's just creating a new number, right? Okay. That's not changing this dot max, right? Okay. It's just a new number that's getting assigned ID, yeah. Um, so, this only gets set to an object when you're inside a method on that object. So, inside a function within the object. So, this, there's no, there are no functions here, right? If I, had, if I had a function here, oops, not equal. Inside here, this would be um, would be flick. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you asked, but no, that's not a thing. Sorry. Okay, and we we will encounter that situation. Okay, so this should be awesome. Let's check it out. Let's uh, just. Uh, console log our flick. Refresh. Bad boys. Bad, whoops, bad boys two. Yeah, the ID is Nan, just like we said. What? What's Nan? Not a number. Not a number. This dot max should be zero. Zero plus one is most certainly a number. So what the crap, man? Is this not what we think it is? Console dot log this. Refresh. This is the form. Swell. So here's a little secret. It doesn't really matter that handle submit just happens to be a method of this object. What matters is how it's called, how it's invoked. Init was called by saying app.init. So it was actually invoked as a method using 
object method syntax, method invocation, which means this will be assigned to that object that was on the other side of the dot. But we didn't call handle submit ourselves, did we? It got called when an event occurred. And when that's how you call a method or any other function, this always gets bound to the target of the event. So when a function gets called as a, an event handler, this inside that function will always be bound to the target of the event. It doesn't care about your object. So what do we do about this? Luckily, there is a way to override that. There's a method called bind. So all functions have a method on them called bind. Because remember, functions are objects too. So the actual function object here, I can call bind on that. And then I can tell it as an argument what I want this to be. And bind returns a new copy of that function with this set correctly. So what do we want to bind it to? What do we wish that this were inside handle submit? The object, right? How do we, where are we now? We're inside a knit. How do we refer to the object inside an it? This. So by calling bind this inside handle submit, this will be whatever this is now. Right now, we're inside a function. And it's only inside a new function that, that it changes. So you start a new object literal. This doesn't change. It only changes when you're inside a new function. So if we manually bind it to this, then we think it'll be the right thing. Let's see if it's all true. Refresh. Transdorfers. One. Transdorfers. The last one. ID two, yay. Rise of the something. Yay, ID three. It's working. Go us. We fixed it. That seems worth a commit. That was a bit of a battle. Let's do it. Create a flick object with a name and an ID. I'm not doing much with it yet, but by golly, we got the data out of, for out of the form and built an object out of it. Let's celebrate our victories. <laughs>